1901 locomobile. Uh, these, in the inception of the automobile, all the cars were small little carriages. This is, runs off of steam. This car, the, this is very close. It's a copy of the original. The originals are hard to find because most of them just rotted away. The, the body's all wood. The engine, everything, instead of having cast parts, it is all out of machine parts, built out of billet steel. It runs off of water. Obviously, the water is what makes the steam. The steam is what makes the pistons go up and down, which then drives the chain from the chain drive. The transition. You look at this. These cars are built from 1899 to 1901. Prior to 1899, there was a horse pull in this thing. Okay. Okay. Then it became a car as we think of antique cars with the hood, you know, the steering wheel. The earlier cars, since there was no steering wheel, because there was no cars, they used the tiller, because that was the evolution from the horse to the, to the, to the car. Uh, back in the day, with the roads the way they are, if you were doing 15 to 20, you were really chugging along very well. Car, it's a blast to drive. It is not something to take on a long run, because you're not going, you're only going 10 miles, because that's, when you run out of water, it stops. <laughs> That if it took off, they were out of a job. That, you know, you weren't going to have delivery wagons and horse-drawn carts and taxis. So they did everything they could possibly do to inhibit the development of the car. One of them was called the Red Flag Act. And what they did is, it was a requirement that you're driving a steam car, you're going 40 fast at a five miles an hour, and you had to have somebody walk in front of you with a red flag, daytime, or a red light lantern at nighttime. So that really stopped the development of the steam car in England. And we realized that that's the future. Even though buggy manufacturers didn't want it, they thought it was a passing fad. Right. You know, this type of transportation, this horse had been around for a thousand years. So that's why we still have buggy wheels. Because in those days, they weren't sure which way it was going to go. So to cover all bases, they said, let's, let's, you know, let's be able to do both things with this thing. So the buggy wheel.